So yeah, like I was saying, like there's many different components that make us up as a human being, and in, in order to be a well-rounded human being, you have to, you know, you have to um, nurture all these different areas of your life and try to be as mindful of them as you can be, you know, with everything else that you have to take care of and do in your life and handle. Um, so it's just about continuous maintenance, you know, the more maintenance you do, the better be, the better version of yourself you eventually become. We're like robots, um, really, you know, and you've got to sort of like fix yourself every day and fix what the outside world as well. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah, we're like robots. Right. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, and I'm, it's about improving, isn't it, in life, you know, and I mean, like, you were going on for quite a while there, you know, so I'm going to try to get off, going to pull, you know, clap him, you know, quite a lot. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. You know, because yeah. there's lots of things, you know, like include money, you know, so I mean, you've got to be quite wise with money, you've got to be good, good at management with money. You got a, there's so many things to manage in life, isn't there? You know, like including sort of making your bed every, you know, once in a while. You know, you got to manage your whole house, your whole home. You know, and if you're married, you got to manage your, you know, your other half, and so on. And, you and know, if you got children, and your you house. got to manage them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Your home. Yeah. I mean, I'm lucky, all right, because I, <laughs> I've always um. I've, I've worked hard most of my life, you know, I've had a number of jobs, you know, but I've not worked for a number of years, you know, I put my feet up basically, you know what I mean, and I've had no bosses at all in my life, and that's been a bit of a, you know, like living in a heaven really, you know, not having any, anyone working for, you know, I'm not working for anyone basically, you know, um, and that's nice, isn't it, you know, so I think, that, you know, Everybody would love to be free, really, of a, a manager, do you know what I mean, you know? I mean, a manager really sort of employs another person, basically, to do work, you know, to take, you know, to earn money, really, as well, you know, sort of um, get you to do the job for him, basically, whatever it is he wants you to do. Um, and then he can get somebody else to do something else, do you know what I mean? And so on, yeah. so on you know, make quite a lot of money. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's a bit like slavery. It? Well, it's, it's, it's smart management if you're able to delegate most of your tasks to the point where, you know, you've got a good team around you. There are some people out there that are lucky and fortunate enough like that, where they've got such good management that they've got and a good team as well, where they can, you know, they delegate a lot of their tasks and a lot of what they've, you know, got to, you know, handle and what they require to do. Um, and then they can just focus and handle... The, you know the main the most important um things on the agenda if you see what i mean you know um and have everyone else around them kind of do work and everything else around them if you see what i mean um so yeah you know it's just about like we said like we're like we talking about tonight it's just about good management you know being able to um especially if you're in a managerial position you know if you're if you're in a position any any form of um you know, any senior position in any, you know, whether you're a supervisor or a senior, you know, senior somewhere or whatever the case may be. Um, it's just about knowing that you will have a position of power and understanding that you, you know, um, you've, you know, you've been given that position of power for, for a reason, first and foremost. People might have realized, might have um, deemed you or realized you to have the qualities that are required um, to be in that position and to fulfill that role. Um, and also to treat people that are you people that you have to manage or micromanage, whatever the case may be, um, to treat them with um, respect and to, to, you know to be just because you're above someone in, in a workplace doesn't mean you're above someone as a human being. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm going to say that again. Just because you're above someone in the workplace doesn't mean you're above them as a human being. It's a big difference. You know, you might have a super, you might you might, might be senior to that per have a senior role to that person within the work place within the work environment but you know you always remember that you're both equal as human beings you know treat everyone with respect and make sure when you're delegating tasks or, or, or letting people know what they have to do for the day or what needs to be done or what's required of them you know as a as a paid employee for that day um, 
um, that you know you're res you know you're respectful and polite about it, and you conduct yourself in a certain way. Um, even me, any time I was ever in a, a any position of um, any you know kind of um, high authority in any way, shape, or form, whatever role it was, you know, whatever occupation it was in at the time, um, I've always you know m made sure that that was one thing I was always um, on point about. I always wanted to ensure um, that I was always you know polite and respectful and and make people understand make people understand that you know I don't feel that many better than you because I have a higher position or I don't feel superior or you know like you know I'm a humble person and I'll treat you as my equal you know but you know at the end of the day I have a, I have a job to do and a role to do and that's what I'm paid to do you can't be too and soft you're paid to do what you're paid to do yeah and like you said you can't be too soft because if you are people will walk, walk all over you and then you'll have staff not doing their job and and not being respectful and polite and 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 you know doing what is managing, actually what they're paying managing for. other people is a very difficult job skill to learn it actually is. do you know what i mean i mean i used to do it myself do you know what i mean i used to be in a position where i used to be a supervisor in mm -hmm. a couple of places you know yeah and then you know i was trained up to be a supervisor and then i basically to, to sort of manage the whole place whatever you know so my manager didn't have to do it anymore he can go to the beach you know and just put his feet up you know um but Managing is a, a skill, you know, in many ways, you know, you've got a, I think a good manager is a person that knows how to love themselves, love, love the who they are, and love everyone else, you know, no, no matter who they are, right, and somebody that's compassionate, somebody that's responsible, you know, and all these little things, you know, somebody that knows emotional intelligence as well, like you were saying earlier on, you know, and I think these are all like different skills in a way that can come together to make a good manager, you know. Somebody that's responsible for themselves, you know, somebody that knows how to look after themselves, you know, keep themselves clean, mm -hmm. you know, which is very important, you know. You know, you, I mean, you can see it straight away if somebody's not had a bath all week or so, or, you know, do you know what I mean? You know, or you can smell it, whatever, you know, do you know what I mean? So, you know, it's a very big responsibility really sort of just looking after yourself keeping yourself clean every day so you look good to the public eye and everybody else that looks at you know well, i think just for, and for yourself too may, may most importantly for yourself like yeah there's for me personally I, I just love that feeling of feeling clean like you get up and yeah same and yeah. get clean and start you're your day. you're you're a lot luckier because you're you know a lot younger than me mm. you know mm. but um I mean, the older you get, the more baths you need, basically, apparently, you know, because mm. you smell more, you know, you sweat more as you get older. Mm. Oh, yeah. um, but, you know, um, yeah, you know, management is all kinds of different things, do you know what I mean? It really is, you know, yeah. just lots of different things, you know, lots of different skills, you know. Even I'm still learning life, you know. Um, I mean, yeah. I think I feel like I've learned a hell of a, a real lot in the last ten years. Mm. Okay, I don't think like when I was married, I want is want the wise then, You know, mm. I've only learned a lot in the last ten years. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and um, to be honest with you, when I was married, okay, my wife used to do all my washing for me. Yeah. And I didn't really clean myself. I did keep myself clean okay but I keep myself a lot cleaner today okay whatever you know yeah so I feel like I've learned really sort of like to look after myself more you know and I kind of like wish that I knew that 10 years ago you know 15 years ago when I was married yeah you know what I mean you know I would have been a better husband or whatever you know so you know, like they say, we're talking about cooking some, some, some episodes, you know, learning how to cook, you know, that's good management, you know, learning how to feed yourself, you know, it's good management. Definitely, you know. definitely. You know, but I think it's possible for some people to be a good management, all right, a manager right. of even a company in this country, right. when you've got a bad government above. Yeah. Did <laughs> you with me? Yeah. You know, that's what, you know, sometimes a problem, you know. Mm. I'm not saying the government's good or bad, do you know what I mean? But I think things could be better than they are today, do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, 
I think there should be more wire power there, and I think there should be more houses for people. You know, I think, I think people pay their taxes, all right, year after year. My mum paid taxes year after year, you know, even when I was young and boy. My nan paid taxes, my granddad did, you know, he probably went and probably paid for it, you know. He, you know, he, he had an army costume and all that, do you know what I mean? And anyway, you know, he's paying taxes, and where is it all going, you know? And why isn't it going on, you know, like, why don't the government pay for a lot of bricklayers to build houses for everyone, do you know what I mean, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you know, and things like that. You know, I just think like there's not enough common sense going on, or something evil's going on. Or something, 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 yeah. Something's not right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But some people are making a lot of money. That's what it is. Know, living on an island where we're all struggling on a different island. That's what it is, day. mate. It's a big divide between, like we talk about all the time, like the middle class is kind of like disappearing in front of our eyes. It's getting to a point where. It's, it's becoming a big divide. It's going to be people who are rich, either wealthy or poor. Yeah. You know? And there's going to be a big brick, thick wall between us all, you know, so you can't jump over it. Yeah, it's, you know, the other it's side. getting to a point today, you and your dad. Because even if you did come into a lot of money, you've got to be a good manager with your money. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's a lot of people are lacking that today, you know? Um, you know, financial literacy is so important, and um, I, th I encourage all the young people out there to, you know, don't don't be waiting for other people to try and educate you or to, you know, figure some shit out. Like, if you if you're interested in something, you want to know something, go online and have a look. Like, go and, like go to Google, go to YouTube, go to any of these things, and 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 do some research and and ed watch something and or read something and educate yourself. You know, um, there's so much info information at your fingertips today with the computer and the internet like and your mobile you know you've got your mobile phone your computer laptop whatever you use you know tablet whatever use it to find out whatever you're interested in you want to find out something about especially at a young age you know you want to you know and try to try to advance yourself or better yourself or educate yourself or you know progress yourself in some way then just educate yourself on it and try and find it you know just you know spend some time you know um and I think, yeah, financial literacy is one of those things that's super important because it's like, you know, it's, there's so many people out there that would be in a, a lot much better position today if they were, had some kind of, you know, financial education, you know, they would have invested their money, any money that they would have had, they would have invested it wisely and, and other, other things, you know, so that they can continuously have residual income, you know. If you want to be financially free in this life and have some kind of financial freedom, you need to have more than one source of income, you know. Unless you ha unless that one source of income brings you a hell of a lot of money, then fair enough. But generally, most people have to have m multiple sources of income to be really financially free, you know, to be earning, uh, you know, a, a lot of money a year, you know, six figures after tax, you know. Um, so yeah, you know, it's yeah, it's just like you said, ma management, you know, financial management, you know. If you've got someone who around you who's educated about these kind of things then try to soak up all that knowledge you know try to learn from them try to you know ask them some, ask them some questions you know so you know i know life's very busy but next time you get a chance can you you know you, you know can i pop around for half an hour and you know have a, you know have a quick chat about xyz you know i'm trying to find out about how to get into property or how to get into investing or how to get into stocks and crypto and forex or how to get into you know starting up my own business or whatever the case may be speak to people who have already got experience you know that have got experience doing it or people that have done it before in the past you know try and learn something you know um yeah knowledge is a key you know knowledge is another key you know alongside discipline you know knowledge anyone you know the more knowledgeable you are the more advantageous you are than the next person you know if you've got more knowledge about something than the next person the more the likelihood is that you're going to excel in whatever that is further than the other person because you've already got more knowledge. Yeah, so but some people have got a lot of knowledge, right? Yeah, but they're stupid. True. Right, yeah. Yeah. But you got to have the right knowledge. That's yeah. The thing, yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of wrong knowledge out there. Yeah, that you don't really need to know. Yeah. You know, or um, it's just learning about the right knowledge. Do you know what I mean? And it's even understanding knowledge itself in a funny way, you know, and understanding that you don't need to know everything. Yeah. Okay, and you need to control what you know too. Yeah, obviously. true. Mm. You know, because you could be here 
for a million years learning everything I can. Well, I think, like, I think what you're really trying to say is we need to be strategic. Be need strict, strict, I suppose, about what you learn. What you learn. Choose, choose what's beneficial. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes, like I say, some people might learn French and German for a number of years, you know, but they, they didn't go to the place or talk to anyone there, they just learn it all, do you know what I mean? So they wasted their time learning something, okay, they know it, but they only know it to themselves. Yeah. You know, in a funny way. You know? Well, I guess it will come in useful for a career, if anything. Yeah, but some people, well, are, you know, they might learn it, right? And never use another it. Another year and never, never use it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that, that knowledge that they ever actually know, when they could have been spending their time learning something else at that time that was more useful to them. Yeah, definitely. You know, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. becoming a better artist, for instance, spending more time on that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Using your imagination more. Yeah. You know, I think that's one thing that's really important in life, actually, everyone to maybe learn how to draw, okay? Because some, some people say, I can't draw. You know, but you've got to learn how to draw. You've just got to keep doing it and practicing become good at, good at drawing, you know. If I it's, not, it. it's not about drawing anyway, you know, it's about using your imagination. Yeah. That's what it is, really, okay. Mm. The more you use your imagination, the more powerful it will become. You know, and the more the more powerful your imagination, the more intelligent you become. You know, and you, you know, like say you're talking about knowledge just now, you need to manage your knowledge, you know. You need to manage it very carefully, you know, and you gotta even keep away from garbage, you know, but they teach you whatever, you know, they, really there's not really a lot in life that you really do need to know in life, do you know what I mean, you don't need to know about all the names of different tanks or nothing really, you know, mm -hmm. you don't really need to know about history in a funny way, yeah. Honestly, you. Yeah. you know, you just got to enjoy the day, do you know what I mean, and um, that's what you got to learn how to do, be happy. Like Bob Marley said, mate. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but our own can free our minds. Yeah, it's true. Sounds like so it. true. Yeah. Rest in peace to the legend, legendary Bob Marley. Rest in peace. But yeah, you know, it's about freeing your mind, thinking for yourself. You know. Yeah. Um, and trying to, you know, just try. At the end of the day, it's a continuous, it's like, we do, like, okay, when it comes to becoming the best version of yourself, it's a continuous, it's a thing that you do every day, it requires daily maintenance, you know, um, and the same thing is, is management, you know, it all boils down to management, you know, um, I think the older you get, the more you should be routine based, personally, routine to me, I think it's very, very important, people underestimate the power and the, um, the blessing that a routine can be for a lot of people, if you see what I mean. I think the, the most I successful. Think routine can be pretty boring, though. It can be very boring, right? But I tell you what, some of the most successful people in life, yeah. If you, you if you speak to them, they would tell you a lot of them would tell you the same thing. They have a routine. Every day of their life is planned. If you see what I mean. It's a, 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 everything is everything is strategic, if you see what I mean. Every everything is strategic. They wake up at a certain time every day. They eat at a certain time every day. They work out at a certain time every day. They work at a certain time every day. They spend time, quality time, family, loved ones at a certain time every day. They have dinner at a certain time, and they go to bed at a certain time every single day. Am I successful? I think so. Well, am I successful? Me. Well, it depends. It there. depends on how you measure success, of course. Well, yeah. But I'm talking success. I'm, I'm talking. Everywhere. I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who have become highly successful in business and from a financial perspective in life, financial freedom. These people who talk to them, they will tell you routine is so. It's very important because routine is stems from is discipline again. So if you're able to control your daily activities, you can control your mind. If you see what I mean, you can be. So when it comes to working, you know, you'll even be more driven and more disciplined to work even harder because you're already, you know, you're controlling what you, you know, you're controlling your whole life essentially, you know. Nothing is left to kind of chance in a way, if you see what I mean. You're, you know, every day is like you're, you're in attack mode, if you see what I mean. You're taking on the day because, you know, if you're up at a certain time, you, you know, everything's, you know. Um, and like you said, it can be quite boring. 
but I think it is essential at a certain point in your life, if you see what I mean, at a certain time period in your life, you need routine to keep up. I mean, if you've got you know? a lot of money in your bank account, you can have a better routine. Mm, yeah, you know, you can be free. But up until that point, though, up until that point, you know, if you're someone that's striving to be a young entrepreneur, strong business person, like you got to really have a good routine and have like your focus on your like. Okay, it's okay to have like one day a week you have like downtime and like take a break and relax whatever if you want to have a break well, at least one day a week then fine but at least six days of the week you should be you know you should be on point you know what i mean You're trying to achieve your goals working in some way shape or form towards just trying to achieve what you want to achieve out of life you know and we've all got different goals because we're all different so you know it all varies of course but I think I've yeah. achieved all my goals already. Mm. I've got like I've got three children now, right? And go out of where, but you know, look, mm. I don't want to do that one again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, been there, done that. Get married again and all that sort of stuff, and mm. you know, I feel like what, what, what am I going to aim for next apart from going to heaven, mm. you know, and die? You know, that's what I, you know, yeah, that's what's coming up next, really. You know, so mm. I'm kind of like walking towards the cliff now. You know, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I like that. That's you know, a good analogy. Getting older each day, you know. Walking, walking, walking we're all slowly walking. Getting, cl the getting, getting closer to the edge of the cliff. I like that. That's a good analogy. We're all slowly doing it. That's a nice way. way. That's a nice way of putting it, mate. You know, sort of slowly to every day. Right. Every day, everyone's getting closer to the edge of the cliff. I every, like that. Yeah. Every day, I sort of go out and shovel one bit of dirt out of the ground, you know, and then next day I do another bit, you know. And I'm, I'm slowly sort of digging my own grave, you know. Uh, it's a sad way of putting it, but you know, we're all dying. The first analogy was better, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, we got a manager's house as we're getting older, do you know what I mean? You know, as you know, a lot of people, as you get older, you know, start depending on other people. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You know, they can't manage themselves so well. Need, you know, need help with management. Need assistance. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, you know, I'm hoping to manage myself and keep myself on my.